Hello, this is Paul Hill from ITFlee.com, and in this lesson, we're going to be installing Windows Server 2016. We've done all the prep work for the VM, we've mounted the ISO, we've attached it to our NAT network. All we need to do now is power on the VM. So let's open VirtualBox. So I'm going to click here down on my taskbar, and let's just select the VM and then choose Start. So the VM's coming on. I'm going to go ahead and click this Maximize button. So we don't have VM VirtualBox Guest Edition tools installed, so we're going to have to scroll up and down by dragging this little bar on the side up and down. So I'm just going to drag it somewhere in the middle. And under Language Install, I'm going to leave this all as English United States, and the keyboard method is going to be US. Now this is very important. If you get this wrong, it'll cause issues. Normally the default is OK, so I'm just going to click Next. And I'm going to click Install Now. Okay, so now the setup is starting, so we're just going to give this a minute. All right, so now we have the option of choosing which operating system or which version of Windows Server that we want to install. Now, if you've installed Windows Server 2012 right away, you'll notice that unlike 2012, there is no option for server with a GUI, but it's now called Desktop Experience. If you do not choose Desktop Experience, you will install what is known as Server Core. Now you'll need to use a command line to complete tasks, and you won't be able to click around on things with a mouse. In Server 2012, the data center and standard versions contain the exact same set of features, and the only difference was the license capabilities. This is no longer the case. With the standard version, you may only have two operating system environments, while data center is unlimited. What that means, if you don't understand that, with the standard version, you can only install two instances per license. With the data center, you can have as many as you would like. Now, since we're using this as a trial and we're not paying for the license, I'm just going to choose the data center desktop experience. So down here at the bottom, very last option, data center desktop experience. Now we'll click next. And on the next screen, we're going to accept the license terms and we'll click next. On the next screen, we're going to choose the type of installation we want. If you already have Windows Server 2012 installed, you may choose Upgrade. And upgrades can be nice as they'll keep your files and settings intact if possible. However, even Microsoft claims that you should perform a fresh or custom install if at all possible. In my experience, I've never had an upgrade work without having things break later on. Now since we don't have an operating system already installed on this VM, we don't have any choice but to choose Custom Install Windows Only. Now we need to choose the drive that we want to install the operating system on. We've only added one drive, so if we'd like to install uh, partitions, we could do that here by clicking the new button. I'm not going to bother with any of that. Uh, I'm just going to select the drive zero and click next. Okay, so now the fun part starts. It's going to prepare for the installation, complete the installation, and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video so you don't have to sit here and wait for this. So you might want to pause the video now, wait for your installation to finish, and then come back when you're at the username and password for the administrator account. Once the installation is complete, you'll be prompted to enter the password for the built-in administrator account. Now it's very important that you don't forget this password, so make sure that you write it down if your work policy allows, or if you're at home, just make note of it so that you don't forget what it is. Now I'm gonna type in my password. And I'm just gonna press enter on the keyboard. Okay, so now the computer's gonna finish finalizing some settings, and then we'll be brought to the login screen. Now you may log in with the administrator credentials you just created by pressing right control and delete. If you're on a Mac, you can press host and delete. Now we'll just type in the password we just created. And it's going to log us in and bring us to the desktop. Now we successfully have installed Windows Server 2016, and that's all we need to do for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be finishing up the installation by installing things like VirtualBox Guest Editions. Great job getting through this lesson, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.